Good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Type in chat if you can hear. Yeah, what, what happened yesterday is pretty amazing. Like I looked at my positions early pre-market and everything was down. And then pre-market opened and everything gapped up a lot. So, you know, most things are gonna open unchanged or even up on the day. Pretty amazing. Look at AVLR, it's already printing above yesterday's highs. Pretty amazing. Uh, GPT, these are not the earnings estimates, these are the revenue estimates. I got them from Coifin, coifin.com. I'm gonna show you guys. I think it's a free site. Yeah, it's a free site. Pretty good. Um, I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, so, do this and put in GBT. And I go to security snapshot. And. Here you get the EPS estimates for the next two years, and you also get the uh, revenue estimates. So you look at the revenue growth in this thing. Like in 2019, their sales were 600,000. I'm trying to get it up on MarketSmith also. Yeah. But Marcus, Market Smith shows they have no revenue growth, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so this year they're estimated to have 50 million and next year 270 million. That's a pretty, pretty intense revenue growth. Uh, and it's flagging, right? I think it's a pretty decent setup. Everything is lining up. So this is where I got the sales numbers for GBT. Oh, fuck's sake, my cat is going crazy. Look at. Let's go the I'm back. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So that was GBT. I'm closely stalking that thing. Oh, my cat is uh, taking all my attention here. I have to throw up my cat also. 
Okay, setups for today. Only thing I'm looking at out of the gate is this rad. I'm amazed how similar it is to CLVS. Like CLVS was a beaten down name, multi-year down move, then it had a big move, went up 300% in a month, pulled back 50% to a rising 20 day moving average, had a perfect bounce. Had a, five, six day bounce so of almost 60%. I'll look at RAD, had a multi-year down move, had a 200% move higher in a couple of weeks, and now it's been pulling back for the past couple of weeks, almost 50%, and actually with the pre-market lows, or yesterday after hours lows, it was down 50%. So almost exactly the same kind of a move like CLVS did. And now it's on the rising 20 day. Now I'm not gonna say this thing is gonna bounce 60% like CLVS did, but why can't this thing bounce 20, 25, 30%? It's all about finding a tight setup like 20, 30 cents to potentially make uh, you know three, four dollars on the upside. So it's a good risk reward. So I'm, I'm I'm looking at it very closely, and I'm not even, I'm not gonna just look at it. I will trade it if it triggers. I'm thinking this 1260, 1270 range maybe, or when or you know something like the opening range highs, something like that. Something like that. So it's a very intriguing name. Um, other than that, there's really nothing I'm excited about out of the gate. The CEI was pretty amazing yesterday. I bought it. Uh, where did I buy it? Did I buy it yesterday? Yeah, I did, I, yeah, I did buy it yesterday. Right? I think in the 240s or 250s, I bought 15,000 shares. I bought. I had an alert set. You know, this thing looks like a fuel cell, and a lot of these other stocks that have made big moves lately, past few weeks, exactly. You know, beaten down stock had a big move out of the uh, from the lows, pulled back, went sideways, bit higher lows. Just a big, big flag. This is. 60 minute short. No, sorry, this is the 5 minute short. Because look at the 60 minute short. And then it triggers. I bought some shares and went straight up. Almost 40. Yeah, 40%. And then the after hours, this thing was up almost 90% from my entry. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. The moves in this market are, you know, it's just crazy. My target for the First resistance really is this high fives area. It still has a lot of room to go, in my opinion. I only sold some. Uh, I sold some before the close. I sold some here pre-market. I think it looks filled right now, actually. Yeah, I had a sell order at 3.55. I just recently got filled on it. Uh, like a few minutes ago. Just trail my stop. I have a break even stop on it now. I think. What is my average on it? 250. 215 is my average on it. Yeah. So now I have a bulk break. Yeah, no, I didn't buy it yesterday. I think I bought it the day before yesterday. Yeah, exactly. But I should have added yesterday. But I didn't. That's okay. SWN, I took a $10,000 loss on it, I bought it, 
and then I went downstairs to play some PlayStation 4 and this thing had a, you know, it went below my stop. So I think I sold it like 231. No, not, no, sorry, RRC, I'm talking about RRC. Yeah, this is the, yeah. So I bought it, went up a little bit and then it went straight down below my stop. I think I sold it 451, a penny from the lows and then it bounced back again and uh, whatever, took a $10,000 loss on it. It still looks good. I'm, you know, both RRC and G, uh, SWM. I think you know these things could double very easily, just like they did in early 2016. Very similar patterns. Okay. Markets are open. How did we open? We are <laughs> spies are green and Nasdaq is down 0.01%. Okay, just an insanely strong open. Sava looks like it's gapping down. I'm probably gonna cover it today. I don't know. CEI, I have to put some sell orders out there. I bought some rad. <laughs> Let's see if we can bounce here. I bought thirty. I didn't get filled on all. I I only have thirty two thousand shares right now. Maybe I'll add to it later if I don't get fit all of it now. Uh, I, I lowered my stop on Sava. Rada had an offering in price at 525, which is inside of its base. We'll see how it acts today. Takes out the highs from a couple of days, uh, the lows from the couple of days ago. I will sell. I hope I get stopped out of this thing. I just it's not going anywhere. I have 32 positions, just amazing. Okay, Rad is moving higher. Unfortunately, I didn't get filled on everything. I got filled. Now I have 33,000 shares. 12.7 the average, and uh, yeah, I'm risking less than 20 cents. And uh, yeah, you know, if it goes up two dollars, I will have one to ten risk reward. I think you realistically could very easily get back to 15 bucks or 16 bucks or something. I'm not expecting it to go to 20 or something, but you know, if we can go up three, four bucks, two, three, four bucks, you know, that's pretty good. Pretty good risk reward. I raise my stop on CEI also. SABA is actually building higher lows in the 60 minute chart for now. Something to pay attention to.
it's max or I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to 30 bucks. So a lot of positive news coming out of that thing. So far, picture perfect looks exactly like CLVS. Look at this chart. Look at this CLVS rad. No, sorry, it's a different. It's a different time. Exactly the same. Identical. Pretty amazing. Okay, RRC looks like it triggered above yesterday's highs. What's gold doing? Gold is oil related things were gapping up yesterday. <laughs> VIX was up really high. I think Twix was up at in the mid high 50s in after hours yesterday. AR trigger. AR was long until like a week ago. Does look good though. RRC. Hmm. JCP having some follow through from yesterday. I bought 100,000 100, shares yesterday. See if this thing can double over the next few weeks or months. So far, so good. I'm just amazed at the resilience in this market. This is the second strongest market I've seen since I started trading started trading in 2011 and the only market that has been stronger was late 2017 and the first three weeks of uh, 2018. This is pretty amazing. Rada, so far it's down on the offering. Taking out the opening range lows, unfortunately. Stem is looking interesting. Some kind of global licensing thingy. I don't sometimes understand it, but it looks pretty damn good. Okay, I bought some VSTM. I'll buy it. Okay, I have thirty-five thousand shares of this thing. You know, it's 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 the uh, it's the. Uh, These kinds of shorts that have been working, and this thing has some news, and you know, 
has made some big moves in the past, so we know this thing can go. This thing can definitely go higher if it wants to. Hasn't taken out high, so an opening run for inch highs yet. Maybe I'll have even more if it takes out the opening range size. Rather, I probably should sell some. I, oh. Almost 4%. I'll, I'll put in some sell orders here. Scan, it's moving. Halo is up. DPLT had some kind of data, very thin stock, untradeable for me. So it's actually building a tiny, tiny flag here. Found support, now we cut the rising 20 day, found support, and now it's kind of flagging here. Very bullish. NASDAQ is about to take out, it's about to reach short time highs. <laughs> yeah. In this market, you can't have any opinions about anything. You just have to pri uh, trade price action. And Forget about politics and geopolitics, and you know, just forget about everything because none of those things are gonna make you money. Only thing that is gonna make you money is price action. AMD, I'm thinking about selling it if it closes, uh, selling it all if it closes below the rising 10 day. This MU yesterday, I can't believe it. I shouldn't have sold this thing, but you know the consensus, consensus estimates were not really great, so that's the reason I sold it so early. Wanted to get into better things. Sometimes what you already own is the is the best performing stock. <laughs> so SDRL and Intel sub are very close stopping me out. I actually want them to stop me out. I, I just I have 33 positions now. It is just just crazy. Can't handle this. Tesla. It's looked like it, it's you know reversing from the highs, made some all-time highs, and now it's reversing some. And I don't know. I'm a little bit tempted to go short for a swing, you know, in case it wants to pull back 50 points or something. Uh, but I think it needs to lose this 467.50 area or something like that. For that. 
Okay, VSTM. I'm thinking about maybe buying some more. Okay, I bought some more VSTM. I have 40,000 now. I actually maxed out my smallest account. I can't even buy more. <laughs> more. I wanted to buy even more, but you know, I'm uh, maxed out the margin. I'm I'm long so many piece of shit stocks in that account. It's just amazing. Seven piece of shit stocks. I don't think I've ever owned this many piece of shit stocks in my life, but you know, these are the things that are working. You know, when you have these things, you know, daily there's something going up 50% in my portfolio, you know, I, I can't help myself, I have to add more. PSNL, uh, yeah, no, just a random beaten down stock. Pixie is reversing. MTP, I don't really know what the news were, but it's going higher. APLT is reversing. VSDM, immediate follow through, took out the opening range highs. Look at the volume. Volume is already, you know, average daily volume. This thing could potentially have 10 million in volume. You look at these days here, this thing had a couple of months back, it had you know 11 12 million in volume. But obviously, follow through is key, that's really all I care about. Two pulled back a little bit. What's my entry? Two. 48 cents. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower my stop to 48 cents. So. Because I want to see how it acts uh, on this uh, moving average, the rising support. So far, it didn't go to dollar plus like I thought it would. Rada took out the opening range lows, and now we took out the opening range highs. So we'll see how it acts here. Intel sub, it failed to make, it tried to make a new high into the gap yesterday, it reversed and now it's going lower. And it also took out this uh, trend line, this series of higher lows, <laughs> broke that trend line. So I'm not really excited about it right now. Oh, GBT. Let's see here. the average volume on this thing. Okay, about 6,000 shares. Let's see where this thing goes. It's such a great looking, you know, setup. I can't pass on it. I just can't. My portfolio gets bigger and it gets bigger. Just... Oh, my average is eighty thirty-two. Oh, PSNL had some headline. Okay, yeah. Well, there's really not much volume on it. I can't trade this thing. GPT. So far, it looks good. I'm all, almost up a dollar on it already. 
system for a circuit. So also one thing, uh, you know, beyond the fundamental reason is a technical reason. Like uh, past couple of weeks, biotech has pulled back. But XTI, IBB, but GBT has built higher lows during the same time. And now it's just taking out this uh, range to the upside. But that's, uh, that's something, you know, showing relative strength. Not to mention the revenue growth estimates. Tesla on the 60 minute short is kind of hard to see, but it's it's building higher lows on the 60 minute short. Again, if I'm gonna short it, it needs to take out this 467.50 area. So far, it's been building higher lows. We'll see. Wow, GBT, GBT, up a dollar on it already. This is this is how a good pivot looks like. It goes up immediately. It doesn't it's not sluggish. It's it's not hanging around. It goes up immediately. And many times you, you don't even get filled on the at the price you want. To. This is a good pivot so far. It could very easily fail, of course, but this is how a strong stock acts like. Not something like rad. This is not what CLVS did when it took out, when it bounced off the rising 20. The CLVS went straight up. It did have a dip, like the next day, I think, but, or late day, the same day. Okay, did go straight up. Rad is um, acting a little bit sluggish. I don't like it. Halo, what's the news here? Buy at Goldman Sachs. Twenty four price target, all right. That's why the stock is up. VSTM is at the decline 200 day to the penny pretty much. And um, yeah, I think it could go. It's another short, you know, it had a move out of its lows, made a 65% move or 62% move, and you know, it's been going sideways since. And now it's trying to have another leg higher on some volume with some news. Why can't this thing go to two bucks or two fifty or something? I don't know. This is the right market for these kinds of stocks. Plug, taking out yesterday's highs. Pretty damn nice mover. I need to put out some sell orders. Like every you know four or five percent. I'm trying to sell a tiny bit, just to lock in. Can this thing go to five, six bucks? Absolutely, but I always like to sell some on the way up. Uh, maybe 410, yeah, that's a sell order at 410, small. Small, small sell order. Nothing crazy. 
Oh, Chasey Penny too. Oh, I was up almost eight percent on it. Uh, Oh, Sava, shit, stopping me out. I didn't even see it took out my stop barrier. Okay, I only had 20% of my shares left, so now I'm, now I'm out of Sava. What a strong, yeah, this is what I was talking about. It was building higher lows in the 60 minute chart. Too bad I didn't, uh, I didn't pay attention. Okay, Obviously, you always have to pay, pay attention to the price action, always. Sometimes it's easy to get sloppy and stuff. Especially when you have a portfolio of 33 stocks. I don't think I've ever had this many stocks. So LK is building higher lows of its rising 20 day moving average. Another thing to pay attention to. And they had some news this AM. They're gonna have a, some kind of a convertible bond or something. Raise some money. And yeah, the stock is acting well so far. BE is struggling at the declining 200-day uh, moving average. It's it, you know it's not been able to break it. It's been building higher lows for the past week or so. It you know stopped exactly at the declining 200-day. I'm gonna raise my stop a little bit here. You see the it's getting pumped together with the plug BLDP and the fuel cell. What's fuel cell doing? Yeah, it's going to sell this. Oh, LK got stopped out. Good, good, because... No, not LK. Intelsat, I mean. Got stopped out of it. Good. It hasn't really gone anywhere since I bought it. And it Failed to make a move once it got into its uh, gap. It tried to get into the gap yesterday and nope. And it broke this uptrend with higher lows, and this is what happens. Price action once again. Rada hitting highs here. That's good. Oh, Vera stem, nice. Up almost 10%. I need to put some sell orders out there. Very, very good. GBT, I don't see much volume in it, unfortunately. I wish there was more volume, but you know the price price section is good, so that's all that matters. But I would have preferred to see more volume. This TAL, oh, this is one of my biggest misses last earnings season. This TAL. I was looking at it and you know I didn't buy it and then it dipped the next day. I still didn't buy it and I got so many opportunities to buy this thing. I really liked the estimates and the chart and everything. You know, it had higher lows, came into this range break and had great earnings and now it's up. 
30% since, and it look, looks like it's starting to speed up. Yeah, one of my biggest uh, mistakes last earnings season. I should be long that thing, but I passed on. It's not green on the day again. I really hope this thing goes to 550 or something in a straight line and then we get a 100 point pullback. That's, that would be an epic setup for the short side. Amazon looks like it's, it wants to go higher from this big epic looking range break. It's Tencent too. Yeah, Tencent is going higher too. It wants to go higher. Yeah, the volume is pretty good. It's already uh, almost half of yesterday's volume. Again, my target is in the high fives on this thing, or mid fives. Looks like I've uh, filled on some Vera stem sales. I'm up over 10% on it now, I think. Pretty decent. The volume looks really good too. Oh, plug. Going to get filled with some sales soon. Man, I can't believe this market. It's just, oh, I can't believe it. probably a million bucks over the past month since like early mid December or early December I think I'm up close to a million bucks this is what happens when the market is good this is what happens Okay, torque, I got uh, uh, stopped out on some torque. Had, hasn't really gone anywhere. It looks like a little bit like Intelsat. 
I thought it was gonna make a decent move into this gap, but so far hasn't materialized. Let's. I got uh, stopped out on half. Let's see if I get stopped out the other half. I kind of hope so. So, because my portfolio is getting a little bit bloated, a little bloated. Oh shit! Yes, the yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what happens when, how do you say, luck meets preparation? What's the saying? Luck meets preparation, isn't something like that? Like I've been prepared, you know, with my setups. I've, I've, I've you know, practicing on, on my setups and my methodology for the past eight years, so the past nine years. And you know, luck is that we got a good market. So luck meets preparation. Good luck is when yeah, yeah, that yeah, exactly. Luck, yeah, preparation meets opportunity. Yeah, and the opportunity has been uh, in in the in the markets going straight up. And I've been preparing with my setups for the past nine years and holding my setups. Yeah, exactly. That's how it is. Thanks. another scan see what's going see what's going on wow 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 food looks like some china education stuff just like talent edu uh, wow they barely have any revenues and they are at wait a 30 million market cap wow it's a nano cap I'm gonna show you the PNL in, in my accounts right now. Just have to take the screenshots. So this is the current PNL in my accounts. Uh, wait, it hasn't updated yet. Hmm. 
Oh, it, no, it hasn't. There it is. So this is my main account. This is what my main account. Oh, I see I hit 100,000 in gains on plug. That's nice. Uh, this is the main account. <laughs> like, everything is Scooty, except the Intel set, which I got stopped out. And this is my second account. Second, and, this, and I also have my third account, which is my smallest, which is full of the shittiest, the shit stocks that have ever existed. This is my secondary account. I got stopped out of my last fifth of Sava. Uh, gave back some profits on it. Um, but yeah, Sava was... I think around 100k on the long side and a little bit over 100k on the short side. Yeah, so this is happen. This is this is what happens when what was it? Preparation meets opportunity. Yeah, I have to remember that. Mm -hmm. GBT. Oh, we should sell some now. I don't know what the markets are gonna do. I, 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 they look like they, they want to go higher. Maybe we're gonna speed up or something like we did in early 2018. If you see, like most of, you know, from late 2016 and most of 2017, the markets were just inching higher. Had a leg higher, sideways. Leg higher, sideways. Higher, sideways. Higher, sideways. Higher, sideways. And then it kind of started speeding up, like late 2017, early 2018, like consolidations became shorter and the price actions has started speeding up. So we had a little speed up process going on. So maybe we do something similar, like we start speeding up. I don't know, or we go sideways. But if we start violating this little 320 area, like this rising 20 day line. Uh, this is a spice. So let's look at the NASDAQ. Same thing here. We start violating this rising 20 days uh, uh, line. I'm gonna sell down aggressively, okay? I'm gonna lock in profits. I'm gonna close a bunch of positions. I'm gonna raise my stops because right now I'm pretty heavily long. Uh, you know, I. And you know you you got you have to you know protect the profits. Have to protect profits. Like times like these is, it's very easy to become irresponsible and start doing some, you know, sloppy things, dangerous things. This is really the time to be cautious. Yes, I've done a lot, you know, taken a lot of trades and I have a lot of positions, but you know, I'm, I'm out one foot out of the door. That's what, how I'm trading right now. If I see any, this is why I was a little bit uh, nervous uh, this early this AM when I, when, I, when I looked at the after hours action on a bunch of my stocks uh, before the pre-market trading opened. Uh, most of them were down and I was fully prepared to stop out of, you know, maybe, you know, decrease my exposure by a third or maybe even half. Uh, but then, you know, the gap down was erased and everything is rainbows and unicorns again. So, <laughs> I mean, why not? Actually, LK, I'm going to remove this lower stop. Or maybe I'll raise it, I'll raise it here. Interesting, AMD is showing a relative weakness to the semi-sector uh, overall. That's interesting. Yeah, if it closes uh, below the rising 10 day, I'll, I'll sell it. I'll sell it. This thing is, you know, kind of extended. Kind of extended. Can it go higher? Absolutely, but, you know. I just want to get rid of exposure. That's the thing. It's a little bit scary to be this heavily long. 
I do have some shorts too, but you know, I'm still like 90. I'm like, I don't know, 15, 20% short and like 140% long right now. It's pretty one sided. BSDM, wow, straight up. Straight up from the opening range size pivot. Wow, GBT of two bucks. Um, I think high 82s, I'll sell some. I see, or yeah, 83 bucks, I'll sell some 83 bucks. Just to lock in, Maybe, you know, tiny, tiny shares. Oh, plug. Looks like I got filled on, on the cell. I'll put another cell order higher. So far, I've sold maybe 10% uh, of my I probably st should start selling more aggressively. I am up almost 20% on it. Next sell order is gonna be four twenty five. Wow, crazy times, crazy times. <laughs> oh boy. If it closes below today's lows, I'm gonna sell it. Uh, SDRL, can you stop me out already? I don't have time for this. No patience with sluggish thoughts right now. Since there are so many things going straight up.
Okay, in 10 minutes I'm gonna do the um, do another scan and then I will probably cut the stream. Rad is not acting well so far. Or not as well as I would like it to act. Yeah, it's not really acting well. I'm gonna put a stop on it. I never. Yeah, I, I sold tiny. I did sell tiny, but not enough. Not enough. I'm gonna set a stop on it. See, I have to set another cell order on it. Things are going straight up. These two could be uh, uh, CEI sympathies, this low price, low float oil names. Where I'm not sure about the float on LLEX, I think it's a pretty high float stock, but it is low priced. Yeah, 83 million in float, and Yuma, I think, is a pretty low float stock. 1 million in float? What the fuck, really? I'm gonna pass on it. I, I I'm not gonna I refuse to buy any more stuff. I can't I can't do it. Maybe if they set up later in the week or so, but today I just can't buy more stuff. I just can't. Having this many positions is pretty stressful. I don't like stress. <laughs> plug. Look at weekly candle on plug. It looks amazing. I mean, if it does anything remote to what it did in 2014, holy shit. Crazy, crazy. I'm gonna go downstairs, take a mini break, and I'll be back in about five minutes. Uh, so I'll be back in five minutes.
back. So, uh, let's see what's going on here. LOX. Alert went off. Rad still looks weak. Well, not everything can work. All the time. Yuma. Oh, STRF, finally I got stopped out. This thing did go up 45% in two sessions after I bought it. And now, and I really thought this thing would go even higher, maybe like mid high threes or something, but unfortunately it didn't. So I got stopped out break even for the rest of my shares. Okay, good. It's a good thing. Maybe I get to below 30 positions when, before the day is over. Just got filled on another VSTM sale. I've been like selling a thousand shares that I clip, like every ten cents. Selling very conservatively, just to look in some. So far, I've sold less than ten percent. I still have like thirty-seven thousand shares left. I think. Maybe it does something amazing. I always want my stocks to double and triple, or at least these shit stocks. Okay, let's do a last scan before I cut the stream. DDD. What's SSYS doing? Alright, so thanks for joining and I hope you are trading well in this environment. It's a very benign environment for, uh, uh, for you know, both buying and shorting really. There's so many good setups and nice follow through both on the long and the short side. You know, it's in these kinds of markets you get the best shorting opportunities, you know, stuff like KRTX and CLVS that I, and uh, RAD, etc, etc. These stocks that go up, you know, straight up, and then they go straight down. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, what day is it tomorrow? It's Thursday, yeah, see you tomorrow.